greens, um, a smaller, uh, okay, all right. People travel for uh, pork ribs on that platter. Yeah. So Tucked within an unassuming strip mall in Arlington. You can put it on, on a small plate, right? Is a culinary labor of love, where Texas barbecue meets an Green. unexpected twist. I want to make some salad first, okay? There you go. At Smoke and Ash Barbecue, owners Fasica and Patrick Hicks serve traditional barbecue dishes like pork ribs and brisket. But the secret sauce. He got a dry rub with Ethiopian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's blended with spices from Ethiopia. I think it was really hit right away. Yeah. It all started when Patrick Hicks bought a trailer. Yeah, you got cut about half pound now. Following his passion for barbecuing. Started setting up on the side of the road, just setting barbecue, and um, it kind of just expanded, you know, to here, you know. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> we, we had multiple um, customers lining up. So much so, it led to the couple opening a restaurant in 2018. There you go, sir. Awesome. Thank All right, let me get to a fork. Steps away from the side of the road where their first loyal customers showed up. We kind of planted our seed right here and it just kind of blossomed. It was more like an explosion. First, there was a big feature in the Texas Monthly. Thank you so much, all right? And then last year, the New York Times named Smoke and Ash one of the top 50 restaurants in America. Whoa, what is going on here? <laughs> it's just amazing. I guess, I don't know. I cannot explain it. I wish my parents, both our parents were living to experience that. Early on, the focus was Texas barbecue dishes, but Fasica got creative, serving up traditional Ethiopian side dishes. And then there was new life, when customers had an idea. That takes Ethiopian platter. That changed everything. What started it was the customers asking, hey, can I have your combination plate with barbecue plate. That's how the flavors of Texas barbecue and Ethiopia came together. It was just amazing blend and we never thought that it was possible and it, it, it did happen really. <laughs> There's likely no other restaurant in the world serving Ethiopian Texas barbecue. It's the bread that we eat almost anything and everything in Ethiopia. Okay there we go. Patrick grew up in Waco where barbecue was his family's passion. The couple met in the 90s when Fasika immigrated from Ethiopia to the U.S. I'm mac and cheese. Yes, sir. Their passion for cooking became their love language. We worked so hard and um, on this, <laughs> this blessed you know, we together. Yeah, and I, I, he was my, uh, the first person who understood my English when I first came <laughs> here. That love is shared not just between them, but with loyal customers. So let me get you some. Hey, how you doing? What Patrick you do? makes. Texas barbecue, you know, the way Texas barbecue should be made, is chicken and ribs, I think, are the best, you know, in North Texas. The two uh, combo ready to go, right? I knew how hard they were. Yeah. I was just so proud, you know, to open up the New York Times. And I know that place. I know those people. Let me get you a dollar, right? Oh. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Humble people who created a flavor that now ships nationwide. Let me get your receipt. And draws people in from all 50 states. The coffee was butter. Good. Is it good? The possibility of American dream. It just it, it, that, that's all about for me. I never thought one day I'll be one of the best in America. But with hard work, good attitude, anything is possible. Real tip and fries, sauce on the side, and a platter for two. Those are the ingredients that created their recipe. This is a platter for four people for success. Oh, Paris, right? Yeah. In Arlington, I'm Adriana Dalba.